What's up guys? Welcome to your 36th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me, Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up our Java class and get everything going. And I know <clears throat> it'd be pretty tedious to do it um, within the video because that'd just be a waste of time and you guys already know how to do it. So basically what I've done is I've added the source code to my website and you guys can just copy and paste. And also what I've done is I've changed this XML so I've added some IDs to each of these text views, added an ID to the button, and also changed or to the edit text, I'm sorry. And then also I've changed the text views to some certain text. So what I want you guys to do first is create an, our new class um, by right clicking on our package name and then uh, new class. And you guys have to call this class if you haven't been following along in the previous examples you want to follow this one exactly because we're just going to copy and, uh, and paste the code. So type this one as email uh, with a capital E. Hit OK. And we're just going to get this uh, email class set up real quick. So what we want to do first is, if my computer will load here, um, what we're going to do is open up our menu class and change the third example 3 to email again to match your class name we also need to set up in the manifest I know I said I want to show you guys that again but since this is just a tutorial where I'm gonna walk you through the code that I've already set up might as well walk you through manifest again so we're just gonna copy and paste this last activity called text play and change it to email so the manifest or the manifest realizes our email class save that and then open up your uh, email XML go into the source code and we're just going to copy and paste. So again, we're, my website is mybringback.com. Once you guys go there, go to the tutorial section, and uh, as that loads, over here on the left side, under the Android, uh, there should be the new Boston Android series. Click on that, and you guys have the XML and the Java for this tutorial, because again, it's not too important. So click the XML, grab that, and copy it all and then paste it into your XML here. If you guys get an error, like if you save it after you got done copying and pasting, um, basically you're going to get error like this if this line is not on your first line of code. So make sure there's no spaces above that first line. And then just save it and it should get rid of that error. Now within the, within the open up your email Java class and what we're going to do is delete the public class here because that's what I've included you guys want to keep your package name and then we're gonna go back to where I said the tutorial section on my website and click the email .java. and again grab everything that's available here and I know there's a lot but uh, it's pretty simple pretty much all stuff we've gone through already I'm gonna walk through what the code is exactly after we set this up so then just paste it there hit save and then I'm going to walk you through what I've, I've set up. So basically what I've set up is all of our edit text because we had six edit text within our XML file. I just kind of added some reference to those. We also created six strings. Basically the string is going to be uh, getting the text from our edit text and converting it to a string um, for the most part and then it's set to a string variable. And we also labeled a button uh, since we have a button within our application that's going to send an email. So then we go to the onCreate method. It sets the content view to that XML layout called the email that we set up. And then um, it initializes the variable. So we created a new method like I showed you guys in the last tutorial called an initialized variables. Set that up and basically adds a reference um, or a bridge over to the XML like we always do. That's all that method's going to do. Pretty simple. And then basically we also implemented the onClick listener. So that's going to add the onClick method right here and then so we set our button up equal to that on click listener that we implemented so what that on click listener is going to do because now it's going to shoot down to that on click listen method what that's going to do is going <laughs> to uh, I also created this method to basically grab all the text from the edit views and convert it to the string variables we set up so it's going to do this method called convert edit text variables into strings and yes this is a method we created and so that's going to shoot us down to this new method right here that I just created off, you know, whatever. And again, that's going to take our edit text variables. Um, or I'm sorry, this these are our string variables on the left. 
uh, and then it's going to take an edit text and then it's going to get the text and set it to a string we've done that before um, basically all this stuff for the most part we've done there's not too much new but just so you guys don't get confused I'm walking through everything and that's going to do that for all of our string variables that we want to set up and basically what this application is going to do it's going to send a hateful email because um, you know if you guys like sending hateful emails I know on my on my uh, tutorial series I sometimes get some some hate mail so if you guys want to send me some hate mail here's a pretty good application that we're going to build to send that so there we go we set up some string variables basically just according to our, our whatever is in the edit text that coincides with that variable and then we're going to go back to our unclick method because after that's done um, after that method gets called it's going to read this next method which is going to be our email address and uh, this is the string variable that we set up right here but uh, we're just we need an email or a string array I should say for sending the email or what we're going to build here so basically that's going to just create an array out of a single string for the most part again you guys should be kind of familiar with that as well and then within this on click method it's also going to create a message so it's going to say well hello and then it's going to take the variable which is a string variable we set up here according to the edit text and so it's going to say like hello Travis or whatever that is and then that's again this is stuff that we've done before not too not too difficult but it's just going to say well hello in text and then say plus and then a variable plus within quotations so some more text plus another variable string variable that we set up plus etc and again this is all just basically one line of code so we have to finish off our statement right here the only new thing within this uh, basically message variable or the string message uh, that's new is we added this line right here which will basically you know that's basically like the return button when you're typing a message like hey there and then just hit uh, basically if you add this line within single quotations it's gonna start a new line for the most part so it's gonna be like PS dot I think I love you or whatever so there we go um, that's basically a walkthrough of what I've done and hopefully that gets you hopefully that gets you set up and the only other thing we did is uh, I added an on pause method as well that's just gonna finish the activity once this goes on pause so hopefully you guys kinda understand what this Java class is I didn't want to type it all out because I figured there's nothing new that we've done for the most part um, but it's a good I mean if you guys want to create this yourself it'd be a good kind of learning thing to do as homework for the most part if you don't want to copy and paste and try and set it up yourself go ahead that'd be a great activity for you but I just didn't want to waste time within the series just setting up a lot of stuff that we already know how to do um, again this still might not be perfectly clear in your mind so if you guys study this text as well um, you'll be able to break it down for the most part so that's why I created that for you so again thanks for watching guys in the next tutorial we will actually get into how to send an email and how to use an intent to open up the kind of default email of the of the person's phone so uh, thanks again watch for watching I'll catch you guys in that tutorial have a good one